In today's video, I've got five facts about Otsushi from the series Boongo Stray Dogs slash a character analysis video. But hey, if you're new here, why not join the 4 on 4 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And a quick warning that this video may contain spoilers, so just a heads up. But with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the video. <music> Otsushi is the main protagonist of the series and a member of the special agency of people with superhuman powers known as the Armed Detective Company. Otsushi's birthday is on the 5th of May, which makes him a Taurus. He is currently 19 years old and Otsushi stands at 170 centimeters, which makes him 5 foot 6 and of course weighs 121 pounds. So Otsushi has short light grey spiky hair swept over to his left and kept longer over the right side of his face. He did have a black streak in his hair as as a prominent feature, but this has faded over time. Also, Otsushi has segmental heterochromia. This is where the pupil has two different colour pigmentations. In his case, his pupils are purple with a yellow curve along the bottom of the pupil. And attire-wise, when we first met Otsushi in episode 1, he had freshly been kicked out of the orphanage, so he was dressed in rags at best. After he joined the ADC, he was gifted some clothes of his own. This consisted of a white shirt that he wore with his sleeves sleeves rolled up to his elbows with a black tie worn loose around his neck and suspenders. He also wears black fingerless gloves, his trousers are three quarter length and black, and a long stretch belt that hangs loose from the buckle. Again, while researching the characters from Boongo Stray Dogs, one of the main things that stood out to me is that the majority of its characters, good and bad, are actually based off of real people that have influenced or contributed to Japanese culture. To narrow it down even more, the main cast are named after famous Japanese writers and their powers or abilities are named after their most famous works. In Osashi's case, he was named after a Japanese author of the same name who wrote a book called The Moon Over the Mountain. Osashi's character was based around a character from one of the short stories in the book called The Tiger Man. This character was an unfulfilled bureaucrat who wandered into the forest to find the voice he heard that transformed him into a tiger. The character eventually meets an old friend of his in the mountains and temporarily transforms back to a normal human being. Otsushi's Japanese voice actor is Yuto Umura. He has voiced other characters such as Hiro in Darling in the Franks, Guy Ogata from Sword Guy the Animation, Leon Stephanotis in Violet Evergarden, Oda Sokonosuke from Bungo Stray Dogs, and more. Otsushi's English voice actor is Max Middleman. He has voiced other characters such as Shiro Kotamine in Fate Apocrypha, King from The Seven Deadly Sins, Saitama in One Punch Man, Hashirama Senju from Naruto Shippuden, and more. Otsushi's ability allows him to transform into a ferocious white tiger. The ability itself is called the Beast Beneath the Moonlight. At first, Otsushi had zero control on this ability and would have no memory of it at all once he transformed back to his human form. This was the reason that he was you know, of course kicked out of the orphanage at 18 years old. The were tiger ability of his was causing havoc at night, all unknown to him. Once Asashi learned the truth behind him being this white tiger that seemed to be following him and officially joined the agency, he learns to control his transformations. And now he has various different styles of his transformation. He can be, you know, full tiger. He has been seen to only have the slit eyes and black tiger stripes on his face. He can also transform certain parts of his body at a time too. These are like the tiger forearms, claws and the tail. So once transformed into any of these various styles, Atsushi sees a huge increase in speed, strength, durability, endurance, and stamina. Atsushi is you know, very capable when it comes to close combat and has shown signs of cunning in a few of the battles he has been involved in. Now, the downside to his transformations is that when Atsushi returns to his normal form, he becomes unconscious and will collapse on the spot. This is more than likely down to the extreme increase in his abilities taking its toll on his body. So finally, let's finish this video off with some random trivia found on the wiki that is awesome, and I thought I'd share it with you. So, Otsushi's favorite food is tea on rice, known as chazuki, or chazuke. He also likes cats, chameleons, and the city of Yokohama. However, he dislikes himself and his old orphanage. 
so emo. Now, a common trait on some anime characters is that they have this piece of hair that sticks up and reacts with the character's emotions. Atsushi also has this, but instead of his hair, in his case, it's his belt that seems to act like a tail for him when he isn't in his tiger form. Based on his feelings, when Atsushi is relaxed, the belt hangs as normal. If he is surprised or scared, the belt will stand up just as a tiger's tail would. Could have gotten a bit, like, not safe for work on that one. <laughs> Now, going back to his choppy, uneven haircut, the reason Atsushi has his hair this way was because one of the other kids at the orphanage cut his hair this way as a prank. Atsushi seems, you know, not really to care too much about it, so he just let his hair grow out from the haircut he was given. Now, Atsushi and a few of the other characters have also featured as limited time characters in the mobile games Love Heaven, Kinato, Lead Puzzle, and Yumiro. But thanks for watching this my video, 5 facts about Otsushi from the series Bungo Stray Dogs. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to see more characters from the series, of course let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video as it really does help these videos reach a wider audience and subscribe for more anime content. Till next time my fellow weebs, peace!